Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, today we're going to do a fairly low poly prop. It's going to be a Red Cross case or a first aid kit, if you will. It can be part of, uh, let's say, something like um, uh, an ambulance scene or whatnot. You can also use it um, in like a military case if you want something like that. But that's what we're going to do, right? And keep in mind that we're going to keep it fairly low poly. Okay, so we're going to take a polygon cube and we're going to extend that out until you roughly have the overall shape. I'm going to make it a bit large so you can see what's going on, right? So that's about as far as we want to go, right? Then we're going to go to insert edge loop, which is set to two in my case, and uh, no pun intended, yeah, go too bad here then we're going to queue on the keyboard we're going to take these two faces control e to extrude w to pull out to about here all right and then we're going to go to uh, insert edge loop again and we'll put two here and two here and then we'll put two here Two and two and two, and then we'll do two, 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 two. That's about as far as we're going to go, right? We're going to Q on the keyboard. We're going to go in here and we're going to create the handle. So on face setup here. We'll do uh, one and actually let's do three. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to delete those. We're going to go into edge, double click, shift, double click. And we're going to go to um, bridge. And then we want to have um, two divisions in here. There you go. So it looks kind of uniform. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the bottom because we need um, to have, I don't know what's called. We need to have something to uh, reinforce the case. That's basically what I wanted to say, right? So uh, what we'll do is we'll go in here to face. like that control you to extrude let's do 0 0.1 which should be enough all right that looks good now of course the case needs to be able to open right otherwise it wouldn't really be a case so we need to be on this line right here all right Control E to extrude, 0 0.1. That looks about right. So that's where you can open it. This is all reinforced. Now, what we can do next is put some handles on the ends if we like, right? And uh, yeah, we do like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and select these two and these two hit delete we're gonna double click and shift double click and we should be able to do this with a bridge smooth path and curve let's do six subdivisions let's see what happens okay let's do less let's do three two even two is much better and then what we're going to do is we're going to right click go to vertex so we're going to drag select these and we're going to w and move it way in like so that looks about right we're going to go to edit delete by type and history so we can take this and delete it so that's our handle. We want one on the other end, of course. Um, I can uh, duplicate it over 
Um, yeah, I can duplicate it over, why not? Actually, then I have to add an edge here. Let's just uh, create it from this end. So it's, uh, let's see, one down and on the third. So it's one down on the third. And I can do it like this as well, it's easier. It's three and two actually. Okay. So it's this guy and this guy and not these two, right? Hit delete. Go to edge. We're gonna go to bridge and we're gonna leave it at two and we're gonna hit bridge. And then we're gonna jump to our top view. Right click vertex, hit W, bring it in. Like that. That's all good. Then we want some kind of uh, emblem on the top and we need some kind of a hinge type deal on the back, right? So uh, let's see, for that, what we're going to do is we are going to, actually these can function as hinges where they're on the inside, so that's okay. And we wanted to keep it fairly low poly. So what we'll do next is uh, delete the history. So we can grab this and delete that, that's all good. And so far it's still fairly low poly, right? Okay, so now let's make the Red Cross logo. Uh, so for that, we'll take a polygon cube. Actually, we don't really need a cube. We could have done a face as well. So let's just uh, delete that. Okay. Let's scale this up quite a bit. Let's go to Modify and Center Pivot. W, move it over to the top here so we can kind of size it if we will we're going to snap it to the middle that looks about right to me it's a bit big that's a bit better all right cool so from here we're going to do go to edge double click We're going to hit extrude, and hit W, and uh, push that up. G to repeat, R to scale out. G to repeat, and W to push down. All right, then we're going to go in here, and we're going to go to insert edge loop. The problem is, if you're used to using a shortcut, then you don't remember where they're located, right? So we've got two and two, there you go. We're gonna Q on the keyboard. We're gonna go to face mode. Hold down the tab key. All right. We're gonna uh, control E to extrude. Tweak the offset. Go inwards. Not that far. Let's say something like so. G to repeat, W to push up. that's going to be our logo and we'll put it on the crate on the case sorry and there you have it there's your case we can add some uh, I mean occlusion to it so you can see it a bit better but hey there you go right Fairly easy to make. It's still uh, pretty low poly, and if you want to use it uh, to make something like a military case, of course, that would work as well, right? 
But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you got any requests. And that said, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.